I'm Jess Parnes, and welcome back to this week's Penn State Sports Recap on GoPSUSports.com, where we'll take a brief look back at what happened this past weekend covering all your Penn State sports action. Congratulations to the 2010 men and women's Penn State's fencing teams for winning this year's NCAA championships held this past weekend at Harvard. Freshman Margarita Guzzi Vicente won the team's lone individual title in Epi as the Nittany Lions accumulated 191 overall victories throughout the tournament to capture their second consecutive championship. This year's title marks the fifth NCAA championship of the decade, 12th overall for head coach Emmanuel Kaidenoff. Among Penn Staters who made championship appearances in their respective events were senior Daniel Bach and Sabre, freshman David Ouellette in foil, and older sister junior Doris Ouellette in the women's foil. Visit GoPSUSports.com for complete coverage of the team's victory, including exclusive interviews, official merchandise, and more. Coach Kaidenoff has now led Penn State to 12 national championships as well as 27 individual titles. This past weekend in Columbus, the number 17 Penn State women's gymnastics team competed for the 2010 Big Ten Championships. The Nittany Lions finished second overall to rival Michigan in what was the Wolverines' fourth straight year winning the conference tournament, 196.900 to 196.525. Senior Brandi Personette, who defended her title on the floor and won the all-around title both for the third time, was also named Big Ten Gymnast of the Year for the second year in a row. Freshman Shariah Musser, who was named Big Ten Freshman of the Year, finished third in the all-around, second in beam, second in floor, and second in the uneven bars. Coach Shepard and the team will have a little time off as they await their NCAA regional draw and final ranking. Penn State will be hosting the NCAA Northeast Regionals on April 10th in Rec Hall. Tickets are now on sale for the one-day event and can be purchased by calling the number on your screen or by visiting the Penn State Athletic Office Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. And don't forget to visit our official YouTube channel at GoPSUTV, where you can check out tons of great gymnastics videos, including the recently added Beam 101, featuring all your favorite Nittany Lion gymnasts. Coach Ryan and the baseball team opened the home portion of their season with a four-game series versus Hofstra this past weekend. Lauren Crispell and Seb Saracino called the action and filed this series recap. Thank you very much, Jess. Here at the ballpark, Lauren Crispell and Sebastian Saracino wrapping up a four-game set between Penn State and Hofstra. A productive four-game set it was. Hofstra took the opener 7-1. to one. Penn State bounces back to take the next three. And Seb, offensively for Penn State this weekend, Joey DiBernardo stays red hot. Well, he was the key. It's 6-14 for 14 on the weekend, dri drove in four runs, and uh, really was a key part of the offense uh, all throughout the weekend. Meanwhile, for Penn State on the mound, they got a great bounce back outing from sophomore Ryan Ignis on Saturday and on Sunday the freshman Neil Herring gave them a great start as well. He did. He was tough the whole game. He went out and threw strikes early and uh, got some help from his defense. Seven strong innings and uh, that's the kind of outing that we're going to need from him the rest of the way. Nittany Lions moved to 9-12 and 12 on the year. They hit the road Tuesday for a game at Kent State. Turn around on Wednesday host Kent State here at the ballpark and then on Thursday the Lions hit the road for the Big Ten opener. Three games at Champaign, Illinois. As always for all your baseball info stay tuned to GoPSUSports.com Season and individual game tickets for Penn State baseball are available and can be purchased online or over the phone. Call the numbers you see on the screen or visit the ticket page on GoPSUSports.com. Happy Valley was the home of the softball team's first Big Ten games of the season on Saturday where the Nittany Lions split a doubleheader with Minnesota. In the opener, senior pitcher Jackie Hill pitched a complete game six hitter, only allowing three earned runs and striking out six. However, took the loss as the Gophers came out on top by a score of 3-2. In Game 2, the bats came alive right from the start as the Nittany Lions scored four in the bottom of the first, two in the second, and one in the third to build a 7-3 lead by the top of the fourth inning. The Nittany Lions finished with an 8-3 victory, evening up the record in the Big Ten with Minnesota. The Nittany Lions are now 1-1 one one in Big Ten play and 19-9 overall. In Directors' Cup standings, Penn State has unofficially moved into a virtual tie with Stanford for first in the standings after the Nittany Lion fencing team captured its 12th NCAA championship since 1990 on Sunday. The Nittany Lions have finished in the top 25 in all 16 previous Directors' Cup surveys with eight top 10 finishes. The Learfield Sports Directors' Cup standings are unveiled following the fall, winter, and spring sports. The Cup was developed as a joint effort between the National Association of Collegiate Directors of Athletics and USA Today. 
men's and women's lacrosse both played home games this past weekend, earning two hard-fought victories at Jeffrey Field, with the men taking on St. John's on Saturday and the women facing off against number 17, William & Mary, on Sunday. GoPSUSports.com's Pete Jensen filed this report. Thanks, Jess. It was a tremendous weekend for Penn State lacrosse as the men's team eked out a 13-11 win over St. John's out of the Big East, and the women's team finished off William and Mary in the final stages of the game for an 11-8 win. The three man-up goals in the final stanza proved to be the difference as the Nittany Lions won their first game of 2010 and get back in action against Bucknell on Tuesday night. Penn State closed out March with a 3-2 record and picked up its second victory over a ranked opponent this season. The team picks up its action next Saturday, April 3rd, against Florida. The two ALC foes will face each other for the first time ever. For GoPSUSports.com, I'm Pete Jensen. Coach Isidore and the number 14 women's lacrosse team's victory over William & Mary will be replayed on the Big Ten Network at 5 p.m. on Tuesday and 12 p.m. on Wednesday. Football fans, tickets for the Penn State Indiana football game at FedEx Field are now on sale. All game ticket orders can be made at GoPSUSports.com or by calling the numbers on your screen. In coaching news, Penn State offers their congratulations to Sarah Dahl, women's golf assistant coach, recently named head coach at Seton Hall University, and Etoro Coleman, Lady Lion basketball assistant coach, recently named head coach at her alma mater, Clemson University. We wish them both the best of luck at their new post and thank them for all of their contributions to the Penn State athletics. Be sure to visit GoPSUSports.com the official website of the Nittany Lions for all your latest news, ticket information, official gear, exclusive auction items, and a whole lot more. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Jess Parnas.